as far as the components of the diaphragm, there's uh, a number of items that we need to address. Uh, the first is the steel deck panels themselves. These are coal form steel deck panels. Uh, we'll also discuss the structural connections for attachment of the steel deck panels to the base steel support, whether it's an open web uh, steel joist or a structural steel member, hot rolled member. Uh, we'll also discuss the uh, side lap connection types and also the cords and collectors as part of the steel deck diaphragm system. So the first thing I want to cover was on untop steel deck diaphragms. This is just a schematic that shows a, a very generalized layout of the steel deck panels. And the deck is laid perpendicular to the support beams. Um, there's two different types of deck panels that are manufactured. Uh, one is, is a nested type edge, and the other is an interlock type edge. And this is very important as far as the selection of the side lap connector type for attachment of the steel deck panels to one another. Uh, at the ends of the, uh, of the steel deck panels, over the base steel supports, we would overlap these. And the general overlap or end lap distance that's specified is two inches. This is more or less just to make sure that the fastening or the weld connection has sufficient end distance to the end of the sheet panel. Uh, longer overlaps are possible, but the industry standard seems to be two inches. As far as the various connections that are made between the steel deck diaphragm panels, we mentioned the, the side lap connections or the stitches between those panels themselves, and also frame connections that are made through a single layer of the deck into the base steel. This could be either weld or mechanical fastener. And then for nestable deck uh, and interlocking deck, we can also see different layered connections, whether there will be a two layer connection at the end lap where we have two layers of sheet steel fastened to the base steel. Or with nestable deck, we also have a four layer connection at the corner of the panel where four adjacent panels all nest together and then that is attached to the base steel. This particular connection with the four layers though, it doesn't exist with the interlocking deck. We only see that with nestable deck. As far as the steel deck panels themselves, uh, these are cold rolled steel elements. Uh, they're generally made from ASTM A653 or A1008 compliant sheet steel. Uh, the minimum yield strength for this uh, steel deck is 33 KSI. There are other options for structural sheet steels to be used uh, within AISI S100, the North American Coal Form Steel Specification, and certain manufacturers produce. Uh, deck panels from uh, different steels. So that's something that you would need to check with the manufacturer itself uh, if, as part of your design. Um, the inch and a half B deck and three inch N deck are the, probably the most common types for roofs. Uh, there are other profiles and proprietary profiles that are available through the deck manufacturers as well. As I mentioned, there's different types of panel edges. There's nestable and interlocking, so that's another aspect that you need to verify with uh, the manufacturer and through their product data sheets or their evaluation reports as far as the geometry of that uh, deck panel edge because that will drive your side lap connector uh, method whether it's a side seam weld a button punch a proprietary crimping system or a screw uh, and the deck is either zinc coated or painted uh, the various uh, zinc coating thicknesses can range from uh, G30, G60, all the way up to G90 or heavier. Uh, generally, what we see for the roof deck applications is a G60 uh, weighted um, zinc coating. And uh, also for exposed applications, interior exposed, they could also have a painted surface uh, for architectural reasons inside an exposed structure. With structural connections, there's really three different types of methods that are available now on the market or that have been used uh, by engineers and contractors for attaching the uh, steel deck panel to the base steel. Uh, this would be welding, power actuated fasteners, and screw fasteners. 